Hi, I'm Ashley Tucker. And I'm Angela Gurley. And we are Ash and Ange, and we're in the Paper Lantern Lounge. This summer we kind of got together and formed the band um, through some mutual friends, I would say. And at first we were just friends and then it was like, well, Ashley plays the guitar and sings and Angela sings and plays the djembe. Uh, so you guys should get together. And we were like, okay, that sounds cool. So then it kind of just escalated from there. And um, we played our first show together, uh, I'd say the start of the summer. Yeah, and we'd only been practicing. We had like three practices, yeah. never like being around each other really ever. And then went into like, an hour and a half little gig. And like, she would send me a recording of a voice memo on her phone and I would listen to it and practice it. And then that's kind of how it started before we ever started practicing. If you sit and feel you'll see them passing by. Swirls of flesh and white and gray on the outside. And they believe that their life is fading by, oh, by. But we are standing still curb checked on the roadside. of grass that's turning black Really it's a sight to know that there's no turning back Let out the dogs and chase the beam that got away Bring forth the light to know we lived another I write all of the songs um, and like I'll write the guitar and the lyrics and stuff like that and how I feel the song and then I'll come to Angela and be like hey listen to this new song that I wrote and she'll be like oh here's sweet harmony here and she'll start playing around with harmonies in the djembe beat and then it'll kind of come together into something awesome. I get my inspiration from my crappy life. I mean, that's, that, it's honest, that's the truth. I feel like I've gone through some not happy things and it's like the only way that I can afford therapy. So just write. I don't like doing cover songs. I mean, I enjoy like learning a new song and being like, oh yeah, we just made this sound really cool and like our style and everything, but like, I can't wait for the day that I don't have to do any covers at all to fill a set. Like, I we just do covers to fill time. Yeah. And um, like she said, I hope there's a day soon when we can just get through an hour and a half set and not have any covers. But we're almost there. was near, I was on my back. I mumbled in and then I went slack. The coast was clear, then I backtracked to you. The gold standard, I uphold the laws, prevention of what they call my soul. You were 
shame I cannot get through that this had started with thoughts of you. How inarticulate of me, I could not bear to let you see. I'm not. No matter what is the age you hold, you remain the goal. You are my goal. Um, I took a few lessons when I first started playing the djembe. Uh, I was probably in eighth grade <laughs> in junior high. And then from there, I kind of just taught myself, watched some YouTube videos. <laughs> um, yeah, just played on my own a lot and learned from there on my own. to get into a studio next and actually have our stuff recorded and honestly to give out to people yeah. would be great to have some good quality <laughs> music to hand out and we should probably make a Facebook page <laughs> oh, yeah. I'd say a Facebook page is pretty important too <laughs>
old man crows, will you say it so? to answer the inspiration question of who inspires me, but I feel like I've gone through so many phases of music, just like constantly changing that I couldn't just be like, oh, it's, I'm, I love Regina Spector, so she has influenced my music this much, because I feel like it's so much more, like it's so many different bands, and like even with being a music major, music things that I'm learning, like there's just too much to be like, I'm going for this one style or... Oh goodness. I've listened to some weird stuff. Um, I like Say Hi To Your Mom a lot and a lot of people don't know that band, so I don't know. I went through a screamo phase, like... I was about to say, I think <laughs> yeah. I've gone through a lot of phases of music throughout my life from country to hating country to emo, punk, to rock, to <laughs> pop, to, <laughs> yeah, to um, top 40, <laughs> and now I just, I don't know, I, lately I've been listening a lot to Lana <laughs> Del Rey, um, Nora Jones, smooth music.
had one album that I would listen to over and over, no other music, I would choose Fleetwood Mac Rumors because it's just solid gold from start to finish. There's so much in it. There's so many different things they do in it and it's in your face and it hurts and they're hurting and you feel the pain and then you're also like uplifted and the fact that all the drama that went on with that band and they still produce like this amazing just album. Ugh. The first CD I think I ever went out and bought with my own money was The Dixie Chicks. I think when I was about probably eight years old. And uh, that CD is long gone and retired, I'll tell you. <laughs> Mine's worse, but I didn't really buy it, but it was the first like CD that I ever had that was like my own. And it was Backstreet Boys. My brother got it for me for Christmas. And I was like, Backstreet's back, all right. I used to sing, and I was real typical girl. Like I'd sing in the mirror. Oh, goodness. I still kind of like the Backstreet Boys. <laughs> Shot of your best luck It's just what to your melting pot You told me you had not As we sat in that parking lot And I breathed in the will to let it blow over I breathed in the will to let it blow over filtered in another round spin and change flat out to stay and I begged you not to need her I begged you perform around in Ada between like Rib Crib, Vintage 22, and Papa Giorgio's, and then on the off sports season at the Field House. We actually just yeah. played our um, scheduled event for this month, um, HMA, Happy Land Music um, Alliance. They do it by month. They'll schedule all of their artists. Um, we haven't got the schedule out yet, but 
for October. If you wanted to hear our music, like right now, you'd have to come out to a show. The thing that I would ask of the audience without like trying to be too full of ourselves or anything like that is to, I mean, I know you're coming out to eat food and just have live music, but if like they were to really listen and hear like what our songs are about and like what we're saying and stuff like that, like I'd say they should probably really listen. I feel like that was a weird answer. You always turn your back at me.